Hi everyone, my name is Dylan, and today I'd like to show you how easy it is to create beautiful video content with GoDaddy Studio. Now, you probably don't need me to tell you how valuable video content is in terms of grabbing attention, engaging your audience, and giving your brand a real sense of professionalism, but there seems to be a misconception that video content is more difficult or time-consuming to produce than other types of content, and I'm here to bust that myth. Now, the easiest way to start creating video content with GoDaddy Studio would be by using one of our templates. And you'll see right at the top of the main template feed, we have the video quick start tab. So just hit that to explore our full collection of video templates. And these are, span a range of different design styles, different platforms and different applications. And once you've found the one that you'd like to use, you can uh, simply tap on it It'll open up in your design editor and just like any of our uh, any of our templates you can now edit elements like the text the images and the graphics but of course now you can edit the video too you simply tap on the video layer and if you hit replace you'll be able to switch out that video content with something uniquely yours now you can either draw from your personal device if you've uh, shot some video with your phone you want to add that to a template you can very easily do that but uh, with a pro subscription to GoDaddy Studio, you now have access to two separate video libraries. Uh, the first of these is the Pixabay library, which has thousands of really high quality, royalty-free videos. And these tend to be live action videos in landscape format. So there's a, a bottomless well to explore there. But then we also have the GoDaddy Studio videos collection. Uh, that's something that we've created and curated specifically for our customers and these are vertical uh, story format videos because that's uh, really really popular at the moment and uh, it includes a range of different styles animations live action and sort of textural background videos too so you are welcome to search for something that you're looking for in this case i'll go for travel uh, find the video i want to use simply tap on it at this point, I can trim it before adding it to my template. I'm just gonna use the original length and it'll just add that into my design. And now that video is really just a, a new layer that I can edit like any photographic image. I can perhaps add a photo filter to give it a unique look and feel. And I can also fine tune uh, the adjustments with things like warmth, fade, saturation, uh, contrast, and all of that. And then when you are ready to export your video, you would simply uh, tap the publish icon at the top right hand corner and it will now save that video as a high res MOV file to your device. Now, if you'd like to start your own design from scratch, the process is really just as simple. You would begin with your blank canvas and then here in the uh, bottom menu tray where you select your images, text, graphics and so on, you would simply tap on video to access the libraries that you're looking for and you could uh, scroll around or search for the, uh, the video that you have in mind. Simply tap on it. Again, you are welcome to trim it if you need to. Otherwise, just add it to your canvas. And again, make any final adjustments uh, if you would like. And then, as I said earlier, your video is now really just an additional layer in your design. If I go to my layers view, you'll see I now have it here right at the top. Um, I've previously just uh, made up a little basic design to go with this and if I take this video and take it all the way to the background, we'll now see that the video serves as a background to this Instagram post and all the other elements like the image, the shape, uh, the text are all just added as layers on top of my foundational video layer. So once you get the knack of uh, how easy it is, you can start playing around uh, with different styles, of course, finding uh, one that suits your brand best. In this case, I'm going to try something a little bit more literal and look for an image of a cocktail in the GoDaddy library. Um, I'll use something fun like this. And again, just pop that into the image. And just adjust the layers. Again, I'm going to take it all the way to the back. And it really is that simple. Of course, I can now resize, make adjustments, and so on. Let's just take a quick look at how easy it is to use uh, the Pixabay library in a similar way. Again, I made this design very basically in just a couple of minutes, and then I'm going to search the Pixabay library for cocktail this time. 
and as expected they have a, a wide range of options for me I simply uh, find the one I'd like to use and then just tap the check icon to add it into my design at which point I can just resize and adjust that image to suit the design all right something like that And then finally, a really cool idea to try out uh, using video as a layer is to use it as more of a textural uh, layer in your design. So I've already made this up in just a few minutes. I'm now going to add a, a video layer on top of that. From the GoDaddy Studio library, I'm going to search for Sparkle. And let's see, something like this looks good. I'm just going to add that onto my design. I'm going to put it at the top and then I'm going to use the blend mode. So this is really cool. The blend mode works for videos too. And I would simply select the right format, perhaps soft light works in this case. And now you can see that there's just the subtle animation that really brings this image to life. So as you can see, regardless of your brand's style or how you decide to use video, uh, there are countless creative options and we've got all the resources you need to really make video a powerful part of your content strategy. Try it out right now for yourself by downloading the free app. All the links you need are in the description below. Please subscribe to this channel if you want to keep learning about GoDaddy Studio and I will see you next time.